Hey everybody, I'm Coach Brick. Hey guys, welcome back to our Lego Creator Pirate Roller Coaster set, number 31084. This is part three of bag one. All right guys, last, last time we left off on um, page seven, we just built this uh, nifty little balloon cart and some of the minifigures. So now we are gonna start on the actual roller coaster. So let's go look at step one. In step one, we need to get one of these, um, this big square tan plate. Let's see, it is an eight by eight, okay? So eight by eight plate, and we also need a teal piece that is a stepped curve slope. It's a two by two footprint. And this light teal color. And this is gonna go on here. We're gonna put this on the back edge, like, okay. So look on this back edge. You're gonna count one from the right and flip it right into there. Okay, hanging off the edge like that. All right, and then in step two, let's find a tan, uh, what is it, a two by six? Tan two by six plate. And we also need a teal two by two tile. And then we need this light gray uh, one by four archway. All right. And with those, then we can, let's get the archway first. And the archway is gonna start on either side of that teal piece, okay? Just like that. And this tile is gonna go right behind that teal piece. And then this two by six, it looks like it's gonna go along the, the top two rows of studs right here, right up against that archway, and it's hanging off the edge. Then we can go on to step three. And in step three, we need a light gray two by four block, and also a light gray one by two vent piece, and a two by four tan plate. So the gray block is gonna go on here. It's gonna be lined up with this edge of the teal block just underneath it, like that. So it has two studs hanging off the edge. And then this tan plate is gonna go right on the corner here, corner line like that, and going across there. And then off the end of this, we're gonna put our vent. All right, so if you look like that, and you can go on to step four. And in step four, let's see. We have two of these pieces that are like, it's like a, uh, it's a light gray piece that is kind of like a two by two plate with a one by two plate on the end of it. And then off of the edge, there's a, there's two studs, side facing studs. So you need two of those. And they are gonna go back to back on top of this tan two by four plate, okay? So those side facing studs are sticking out the ends. One is over the, uh, the vent piece right there and then go on to step five. So in step five, we have a dark gray one by two plate and a dark gray single stud, single round stud or a bead. I'm just gonna refer to that as a bead. And this is gonna go in between these two light gray pieces right down here in this channel on the bottom edge. And then this bead is gonna go right here next to this vent along the edge of our tan plate. Now step six, we need to look for a light gray uh, one by four block, and also a dark gray two by two round block. Now the round block is gonna go on top of this two by four in light gray on the inner two, uh, the inner four studs, sorry, two rows of studs. And then this is gonna go across right here on top of that dark gray one by two plate. That, and then let's go to step seven. We need four of these light gray single square blocks. So, two, three, four, and then we also need a two by eight block in light gray. I had that set aside in my larger pieces, my bin larger pieces. And then this is gonna go across the middle here. It's gonna hit this archway, it's gonna hit this round block and this uh, one by four, okay? Hit that, and then on the corners here, we're gonna set these single square blocks. All right. Now step eight. It looks like these are dark brown pieces. We need 
a 2x2 two two plate, and a 1x4 plate. Alright, so the 2x2 two two plate is going to go directly uh, on top of where that dark gray round plate or round block is on top of this um, light gray piece. And then this 1x4 is going to go across the top edge here above the archway. Okay? Now we can go on to step nine. And here we have a call out box. So let's see. For this, we need a couple white pieces. We need two of these um, single stud white square plates. And then when we have those, we need a, let's see, it looks like it's also a dark gray, I mean dark brown, sorry, dark brown 1x4 plate. Um, another one of these kind of like um, ochre colored um, 1x2 plates with the two clip hands. And then we also need two yellow 1x4 plates. So we got that. And let's see. We have the brown. We're going to start with the brown, and then on top of that, we're going to put a yellow plate. And then on top of that, we're going to put the clip hand piece with these two white pieces on either side of that, and then top it off with another yellow. And then this is going to go down here across this row, like that, with the clip hands facing off the bottom. Now, in step 10, grab a yellow 1x4 block and two of these yellow single square blocks with a side facing stud. They're not washing machines, they're full blocks with a side facing stud. And then we also need one of our terracotta 1x2 block with the brick pattern, okay? Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to take our brick piece. We're going to put it right on top of this spot with the clip hands, and we want our alternating brick pattern to be sticking outwards. And then we're going to get these two small yellow pieces with side facing studs, put them on either side of that brick piece with their faces, their stud. And then we're going to grab this remaining yellow block, and we're going to put it on the other hand here, covering up that dark brown piece. Then go to step 11. We need two of these light gray um, one by six tiles. And these are going to go, if you notice here on the sides of this, you have side facing studs on the top and bottom. Okay, so those are going to go on either end of these tiles. The tiles are just going to clip all of that into place. Okay, on either end. Make sure you get it all clipped together. And then we'll go to step 12. So we need a yellow 1x2 block. We need another one of our 1x2 brick pieces. And we need a white one by four plate. The one by four plate is going to go on this back edge on that one by four yellow block. And then the bricks are going to go on here so that if this brick is on the left hand side and then the yellow block is going to go right next to it on the right hand side. We're also going to keep, make sure this one also has the alternating brick pattern on this side. And then on to step 13. Grab four uh, white cans There's four, and a yellow one by four plate. Okay, so these cans are going to go one on top of the other, so we have two of them stacked. And then this, uh, they're going to go on the back here on top of this white plate. Okay. And then this uh, yellow plate is going to go on top of the brick and the yellow block. Now, let's go to step 14. We need a 1x4 block in yellow, and we need a white 1x4 arch. And that arch is going to go on top of these cans, and the yellow block is going to go on the opposite end on top of that yellow plate. Now, on to step 15. 
we have this white one by eight arch. It looks like it is double high. And then we also need two white one by three blocks. And this archway is gonna go on this inside, the inside edge of these two pieces. It's gonna bridge those two together like that. And then these white blocks are gonna go one on this end and one on the other end like that. And then we'll go to 16. In 16, there's a little column box. So we need one of these black one by four plates. I mean, one by two plates, sorry. One by two plate with the with the green bar handle off the end. And then two white one by two plates and two of these white uh, one by two blocks with the undercut wedge. Okay, so you have one by two block with an undercut wedge. Two of those. And then you need a dark brown two by two block with an undercut wedge. Now, the column box shows that we're going to put two of these one by two white plates together and then put those on top of this black one by two plate with the open ended bar handle. And then that is going to go on this side above where we have these claws right here in the middle. Stick that there. See how it's at the same level now as that archway piece. And then one of these white undercut wedges is going to go right next to that hanging off the end. Then in the back here, you want to have this undercut brown piece hanging off the back end. And then this other white undercut wedge off the end there. All right. Then on to 17. Oh, this is pretty simple. We have a, let's see how many is that? Uh, two by 10. Yeah, two by 10 light gray plate is going to go over here across these um, across these white undercut wedges and the end of it is going to line up with the end of this brown piece like that so that it's hanging over the edge with two studs on either end there and there and then go on to step 18 where we need a four by ten light gray plate and that's going to go lined up with that on the other end like that there's a lot of studs to grip under there so make sure you get it all pressed down into place and now you have this big platform there okay all right then um step 19 we need to grab our black ladder piece it's one of these ladders that has two clip hands on the top and those are going to go on the end here <laughs> clipped into this open into bar handle and it's going to swing down in step 20 and you're swinging it down and clip it down into these clip handles there. And then we also need this huge, it's like, um, it's the biggest plate that's in the set. So it's a eight by 16. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna put it, when we're on this end, it's gonna line up with this, because this is also eight wide. And it's gonna have that clipped into the corner. And so now you have this long platform extending out here. Um, okay guys, that's a good place to stop. Um, join us next time for part, what is this, three? Um, so part three next time, um, please give us a like and subscribe, support us in any way you can. If you have the means, feel free to go to our Patreon and see if there's any rewards there that you'd like to support us uh, in exchange for, and we will see you next time.